This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. In this video we are going to be creating a simple health system. We are going to be showing health on the screen, updating health, uh, taking down our health and uh, also healing. So it's going to be a pretty simple one to follow. So let's just do it. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to create a user interface, widget blueprint. And I'm going to call it health UI. And here I'm going to create progress bar. So I'm going to create horizontal uh, box first. And I will also wrap it with canvas panel. So we have canvas panel and horizontal box here. So let's just put our progress, uh, our horizontal box in the corner, left corner, like that. And let's put progress bar inside of it and make it fill. So now it's important to make this progress bar variable if it's not by default. I'm just going to call it health bar. You will see later why we need this. So if we fill it, as you can see, we have health bar. Of course, right now it doesn't do anything, but let's go into our third person character. And here we can go ahead from the begin play. So when the game starts, we're going to create a widget. And here it is. And we're going to add it to viewport. And also we can promote it as a variable because always it's good to have a reference to your widget. We can do it like that. And let's rename this to health UI reference, like that. So here in our third person character, I'm gonna create variable and call it health, make it as a float. So basically float is just decimal number and we are gonna duplicate it and call the next one max health so this health is going to be like current health and this health is going to be our max hp and it's, and it's also good to create max health if you want to increase it later on in your game so with that being said uh, we can go ahead to our ui and actually we can create a binding to it. So to create binding of your health bar, you will need to create uh, to cast to our uh, third person character because that's the character we have variable in. So get our character. And if we promote it as a variable, we can leave it like this or you can just rename it to character reference. Like that. So now when we have this reference, we can go ahead into our binding, get our reference, get our health, and get our max health and divide it. So basically we are gonna divide uh, current health with our max health and one our max health is currently hundred. So we are gonna go get a good percentage there. So this is working now, but I also said we're going to create damage system and also we're going to create um, healing system. So let's go into our third person character here and uh, we're going to create functions. So basically when we press one key, we can get one key here, we can get two key. This is just for testing purpose. So I'm going to create function that's going to be heal and I'm going to duplicate it. And the second one is going to be take damage. So when we press one, I want to take damage. And when we press heal, I want to heal. Just like that. So now uh, let's code this. So to take damage, I'm actually gonna 
get my health here and I'm gonna subtract it subtract it and the number that I want to subtract it with is gonna go here and it's gonna be called amount so what this does what this do here is basically you're gonna be able to set how much damage you want to apply to the target with this function so let's say I wanna apply it like that but it's not done here we need to set this health back so set health so it sets our health so it minuses the health here and it sets it here also what you can do here is um, we can check if the player has enough health so let's get branch so hold B and left click to get branch or just type in branch and let's see if our health meets the condition so condition if is less or equal than zero so if it's less or equal to zero I just want to so if this is true I want to print string that player is dead but I'm not gonna make whole process of dying I just want to show you how you would create this so once your player reaches a number zero or less than zero you would play the you will run the dead like that code for dying okay so if this is not true then we obviously want to just remove the health from our player so here we go uh, here is for healing so here we can uh, get our health same thing that we did there but this time we're gonna add and this is gonna be the number that we want to heal our player like that and we're gonna set our health just like that and this would work now but I want to go a step further and I want to check if the player is full HP so let's see if the player is full HP uh, if the player is so greater or equal we're gonna pull health into the first one if the player is greater or equal to 100 I want to say print string you are full HP so if the player is uh, 100 or more than 100 or rather we can set uh, max health here so if our player has a uh, max health or even more than max health then he's full HP and we are not gonna heal him and here we're gonna heal him so let's see how this works uh, let's put heal to be 10 as well so if we go and open the level instead of our level if we press 1 as you can see we are damaging the character and our character died but if we full heal to full HP as you can see we are full HP and character is not healing anything because we are full HP so thank you for watching and see you in the next episode bye